Hmm, I don't know what I should get. Wait, hold on. Wes, where are you going? Just get lost, Addison. Hey, what's going on? Why are you being so mean? Just go away, isn't it obvious? Here, here's a bag of clothes. Now get lost. Me and dad don't want you coming home ever again. What? I, I can't believe this. <laughs> <laughs> this was the hardest thing I've ever done, but I had to do it. I've got to go home. Wait, hold on a sec. Is this my mom's necklace? Oh, I love this. I'm going to wear it. So that way, at least I feel like I have some family around me. No, her home. Dad, are you still here? What happened to him? Oh, is he gone? First mom, then Addison, and now dad? I just have to figure out what happened. And the necklace. I have to find the necklace. Where is it? Oh, it was in here. I can't find it. The diamond's gone. This is not good. This is not good. Ah, uh, did I hear a noise in here? Well, well, well. Looks like someone's home. Where do you think you're going? Get back here, man. Uh, I gotta lose this guy. Oh, no, there's more. Yeah, man. I told you, you can't run from me. Just in breaking news, there was some kind of attack on a nearby neighborhood a few towns over. The entire place is completely destroyed. More news on that at 11. Wait, that's my neighborhood. I, I gotta go home. I gotta make sure everyone's okay. Excuse me, I'm so sorry to bother you. Uh, yeah? How can I help you? Please, do you have like a dollar or two? I need to Uber and I, I don't have any money. Uh, look at me. Do I look like I have money? I'm homeless. Oh. I'm sorry. I'm just trying to get back to my house. Well, I mean, where's your family? They abandoned me. And then I saw an attack on the news and I gotta go make sure they're okay. Yeah, well, I know what it's like firsthand to be abandoned. My family left me behind and they didn't even think twice about it. Word of advice, just forget about them. Forget about my family? No, that's not happening. Well, I mean, I don't want you just out on the streets by yourself like this. If you really want to get home, then I'll at least help you on the way. My name's Emery. What's your name? It's Addison. Nice to meet you, Emery. Now, come on. Dad? Wes? Yeah, family reunion, shut up! Now answer me, where is that diamond? General Blackwell, I knew you were behind this. I don't even know what you're talking about. The diamond, are you even listening to me? Oh, the diamond, yeah. I threw that in a river years ago. Don't be stupid, kid. That's one of the most valuable riches in this entire world. You wouldn't just throw that away. What would your mother say to that? Don't you dare speak about my mother. You're the reason she's gone. Oh yeah, young Addison, right? Where is she? She's somewhere far away and safe where you'll never find her. I'll find your stupid sister. But for now, you're gonna be in here. Now let's go guys. We got a diamond to find. Wes, are you okay? Yeah, Dad, I'm fine. And what about Addison? You left her in the city, right? That way she could fade into the crowd and no one could find her. Yeah, I did everything you told me to do, but I think I dropped the diamond when I was with her. What? You dropped it? I don't know what happened. It was in my pocket and then it was gone. Well, this is not good. I hope Addison's nowhere near that diamond and she needs to stay far away from home. She can't get caught. Absolutely not. You think for one second I'm just going to hand you over money? Sir, please. It's an emergency. Ugh, I don't have time for this. Get out of my way, homeless loser. You gotta be kidding me. That guy was so mean. Hey, is everything all right? No, nothing's all right. That guy was so mean to me and he wouldn't help. Uh, yeah, I know. It's tough being homeless. No one ever wants to help. But hey, I mean, you shouldn't give up. Trust me, I'm not giving up. Because I know every second I'm away from my family, they could be in more and more danger. Let me try to call them again. What? No answer? Oh, no, 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 no. What am I going to do? Well, I mean, maybe you can sell the necklace for money. You said it was worth a lot, right? No, absolutely not. There's no way I'm selling this. It belonged to my mom. All right. I didn't want it to have to come down to this, but I have an idea. Follow me. Wait, what are you doing to that car? Don't worry. It's been abandoned here for like two weeks now. I don't think anyone owns it. No, this isn't right. You're not supposed to be doing this. Do you ever want to get back home? Get in. Fine, you're right. 
I will get to you eventually, kid. And you will tell me where that diamond is. If it's the last thing that I do. You got nothing, General Blackwell. You'll never find that diamond. Hey, yeah, uh, General, sir, uh, the boss, he wants to see you. Fine. Put this pathetic loser back in his cage. General Blackwell, thank you for coming. Have you found the diamond yet? No, we haven't, but trust me, we're looking, we promise. The family just won't budge. I know this family all too well. They're treasure hunters. They wouldn't do anything to the diamond. Now, why is this diamond so special anyways? It is one of the seven perfect diamonds in the world. I have six, and I'm missing the last one. It is your job to get me the diamond. Well, don't worry, all right? We're on it. You better, or it will be your head. Well, here it is. My house. There are so many great memories in this place. I loved it here. I was happy. What's happened to the place? It's a mess. Whoa, this place does not look good. It looks completely destroyed. I know, it doesn't make any sense. I, I don't know where my family is, and why is just my house a mess? Yes, sir, I'm finishing my patrol right now. Did you hear that, Emery? Stay quiet, it sounds like someone's here. I've completely combed the area. There's no sign of the girl. Keep your eyes open. You need to find her. She has to be there somewhere. Don't worry, sir. If she comes home, she'll be falling right into our trap. Well, it's time to go on patrol again. We gotta get out of here right now. I don't think it's a good idea. That soldier's gonna be outside forever. Well, then what? I mean, I guess we're just stuck here then. And also, I think it's pretty weird that they're looking for you. What's so special about you? Wait a minute. It has to be the reason why my brother abandoned me. Maybe to keep me safe from all of this. I still don't know why, though. What's so special about you guys? I don't know, but we have to find out. There's only so much that we can do when they literally have set a trap for us. I have an idea. What? What was that? Somebody over here? Oh! Ugh. What, what, what's going on? Where is my family? Tell me now oh you're that girl huh the one everyone's looking for i'm not telling you anything oh it's gonna be that way huh fine don't tell us anything all right take his uniform i got a plan all of these beautiful artifacts the riches in the world everything is mine <laughs> You let me out of here immediately. Oh my dear, that is not going to happen. You must tell me what you did with the diamond. I'm not telling you where that is. Besides, you're just jealous that I found it before you did. <laughs> you're right, I am jealous. You and I used to work together, but you always got the fame and the glory. But now this time, you're not getting away with it. I have your family in my grasp. We've captured your husband, your son, and soon we'll capture your daughter as well. And then we will find out where you put the diamond. No, I won't let you get away with this. There's nothing you can do trapped like this. You'll be an artifact here forever. <laughs> I just can't take it anymore. I can't be stuck in this cage. We have to do something. We have to save Addison. They're after her. We have to stick to the plan. The plan of abandoning her in the middle of nowhere was mean and cruel. Do you have any idea what it was like to do that to my only sister? It was the only way to keep her safe. How do you think I felt giving up my daughter like that? We already lost mom and we can't lose Addison too. Well, what are we gonna do? We're stuck here in this cage, Wes, surrounded by guards. Wes, what do you think you're doing? Picking the lock, just like you taught me. Ugh, see? Wes, this isn't a good idea, but we have to do something. I'm sick of just sitting around. All right, the exit's right there. Let's go. You guys actually thought that you'd escape? That's quite insulting to us. Just get out of our way. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Let me just uh, scoot over and let you get away. Shut up. I'm not letting you go anywhere, kid. What am I supposed to do in this? Act like a soldier. Duh. All right, fine, but this is making me feel really uneasy. Stop right there. Hey, it's the girl. I'm the one that found her, so I'll be bringing her to the general. Ugh, lucky, enjoy the raise. 
Oh, Addison, thank you for finally joining to the party. General Blackwell? Should have known you were the one behind all of this. It's funny, that's what your brother said. See, the stupidity runs in the family. Where is my family? Oh, you want to see them? Well, follow me right this way. Wes, Ad! Addison, you're okay. You're not supposed to be here. This is too dangerous. You're right. This is dangerous. Now, Addison, tell me where the diamond is. What diamond? What are you talking about? Don't waste your time. Just tell me because I will find it anyway. I don't know what it is you're talking about. And even if I did, you're never going to get it. I'm sick of this. I'm taking you to the collector myself. He'll deal with you. So this is Addison. Welcome to my collecting vault. Now tell me, where is my diamond? No, I'm not gonna tell you a thing. Feisty, just like your mother. <laughs> Maybe if I take out another member of your family, you'll be more cooperative. Perhaps your brother. So you're the reason why my mom's gone? I did take your mother, but she's not gone entirely. She's still alive, being held here in the vault. Wait, what? My mom's here? She's alive? Now tell me, where is the diamond? If you hand it over, I'll set her free. Fine, as long as you set her free. I buried it in the backyard of the house. Now, guard, begin digging. Find that diamond. No, I don't think I will. What? You dare defy the collector? You're going to leave Addison and her family alone. Just try and stop me. Ha! Ha! Ah! You idiot. <laughs> the diamond wasn't even here. I've had it the whole time. What? You tricked me. That's right. And now you're going to jail for everything you've done. Should be hearing back from the collector any moment now, and everything that you guys worked for will be gone. My gosh, does that guy ever stop talking? Addison, darling, you're okay. What happened? I'll explain later. We have to go to the collector's vault. That's where that weird guy's been keeping mom. And better yet, she's alive. Mom! Mom! Addison! Wes! David! Oh my goodness, I'm so glad to see all of you! I can't believe it, Mom! We thought you were gone! I'm so glad you're all safe. But we're back together now, and that's all that matters. Here's your necklace. I never got a chance to give it back to you. You know what, Addison? How about you keep the diamond? And remember, it's always important to stick with your family. I'm sorry, son. I have to leave you. I have to abandon you. Dad, don't do this. Please, I need you. It's too late. I, I hope you understand one day. No! I'm not gonna let you leave me here! Wait, what? What's this? You know what this is. You're coming with me! Oh, oh, no! No! Dad! Dad! He's gone. He really did it. He really left me. Come on, he's got to be here. My gosh, what did he do to the place? Why would he destroy our home like this? Why would he want to just leave me and destroy everything that we had? Oh, man, dad's old briefcase. One thing he actually cared about was work. What is going on in here? The entire place is destroyed? I let you guys rent this place out and look what you did. Well, my name wasn't on the lease. I didn't do anything. Yeah, I don't want to hear it, man. All right, you guys need to get out of here. Well, it's not going to be very hard. My dad left. He's gone. Well, now you're going to be gone and on the streets. Get out of my face. Fine. I'll take this stupid briefcase. Because I got something to remember the terrible memories my dad left me. Get out of the street, you homeless idiot. Man, things are going to be a lot tougher. Maybe I can just like stay under this tree for a little while and chill out. <sighs> I just can't believe my dad left like that. I mean, I trusted him the most out of any person in the world. And all of a sudden, he just turns his back on me. Turns his back on his family and the whole life that he's created. Well, let's see what stupid secrets you were hiding in this briefcase. Let's see what was more important than me. Wait a minute. This looks like a weird, like, money trail or something. What kind of shady business was he in? I don't need to go looking for answers. I just know that he's gone now. It doesn't shock me that he's a criminal. I mean, what kind of person can just up and leave their only son? You know what? I'm done. I'm going to go and live a good life without him. Oh, I hope he's home.
Who is it? Oh, uh, John? What are you doing here? Grandpa, this is gonna sound weird, but I need a place to stay. I've got nowhere to go. Place to stay? Well, where's your father? He just left me. He just up and disappeared. Uh, okay, okay. Just, just, just come inside. I think my dad's doing something bad, Grandpa. I don't know. I found his briefcase, and I just found all these weird papers, and it just made it seem like Dad was, like, hiding money or moving money or something. I don't know. I just threw it away. I was so angry. Wait, you threw them away? Well, you should have held on to them. No, I don't want to hold on to anything anymore. He's the one that left me, right? I can't just sit around here and be sad about it. Because if not, what kind of life am I going to have? Well, look, John, I can't just have you living on the streets. You know that, right? Yeah, but I can't ask you to take me in either. I know it's a lot. No, no, you're my grandson, and I want a beer to help you, and I want you to stay with me. Part of me sort of wishes that I ran into my dad, but I don't know what I'd actually do. Hey, watch where you're going, man! Sorry, I didn't see you there. I'm, I'm kind of in a fog. Look, man, I already quit my job, all right? I ain't afraid to lose anything. You shove it at me again, you're gonna shove it to the ground. Okay, dude, just chill. Wait a minute, he just quit his job. This is perfect. This place must be hiring. And I like music, so maybe this is the sign I've been looking for. This is my fresh start. I'll show my dad. I don't need him. I can do everything on my own. Ah, oh, stupid phone. Hope it's not another telemarketer. Hey, look, I gotta take care of this. Can I go on a quick break? Yeah, yeah, but it better be quick, all right? Yeah, sure. Hello? Who is this? Uh, it's John? Dad? What the heck do you want? Uh, John, uh, look, how have you been, son? How have I been? How do you think I've been? You abandoned me. You left me with nothing. Look, I, I promise. It was for good reason, okay? I, I just can't explain it right now. Whatever, Dad. I, I don't have time for this. I'm at work. I'm trying to make something of myself. No, John, John, don't hang up, please. I, I need your help. Yeah, of course you do, because you were doing bad things. And now you got to pay the consequences for him. No, I I'm in serious trouble. John, please. I'm not going to help a criminal, Dad. Hey, what's going on out here? Sorry, I didn't mean to raise my voice. It was my dad. Oh, yeah, I heard you talk about him that one day. I I'm sorry, it must have been tough. It's whatever. I mean, it's part of life. Yeah, look, uh, there's customers waiting, all right? We need you back on the sales floor. All right, no problem, boss. Thanks for making me dinner, Grandpa. I feel like this is some great memories that we're creating. Hey, I got the door. Don't worry about it. Hey, man, uh, can I speak to you inside? It's about Henry, your dad. What? No. Whatever this is, I don't want a part of it. John, if it's about your father, don't you think we should let the man talk? Please, it's very important. Look, uh, given the current circumstances, the agency has decided to be truthful to the family. I just need you to swear to secrecy. I'm not going to cover up my dad's crimes. You got it all wrong. Your dad's a hero. He's a secret agent, and he's protected Roblox for years. Wait, what? Come on, man. Are you like one of his friends or something lying to me? Look, I don't have time for this. You either believe me or you don't, but I need that briefcase. Where is it? Well, I threw it away. I was mad at my dad. All right, well, we got to find that briefcase. We need it back. Your dad's in a lot of trouble. Oh, it's got to be in here somewhere. Come on, John. Why did you do this? Hey, what are you doing in my dumpster? Look, did you find a briefcase in here? Please, it's really important. Of course I did. It's what I use to carry all my stuff. Can I have it? What? You want this? No, no, of course not. It's mine now. Well, it's mine now. What? Hey, get back here, you thief. Oh, man. Gosh, there's no way out. I can't believe you. You really just gonna steal from me? You're a criminal. Look, I'm sorry, okay? I shouldn't have stole, but I need this from my dad. I need to get my family back. I I, I just, there's so many answers in this briefcase. Just please. I, I got a little bit of cash on me. Will that do? Yeah, yeah, whatever. Well, this is a great start. Thank you so much for bringing this. Yeah, of course. I'm sorry I didn't believe you at first. This is just all so confusing. I'm proud of you, John, for going back and finding it. Yeah, yeah. Now, look, your dad's been in a really super intense mission over these last couple of years, and things aren't going well. Uh, hold on a second. Uh, I don't mean to interrupt. I got a phone call. Hello? John, I'm sorry. Look, no one showed up for work today. Uh, we're going to need you to come in ASAP. Okay. Yeah, no problem. I'll be there. Hey, uh, sorry. This is weird timing, but I got to go to work. Do you really think it's more important than finding out why your father left? Look, it's his responsibility, okay? And if it means I have to leave this conversation to go live my life, I'm going to. Because he obviously did the same to me. All right, well, uh, that was weird. But hey, look, uh, with this information, we'll be able to get Henry back in no time. I 
can't stand waiting any longer. Hey, sorry about that. Yeah, you think you're sorry? I've been here 30 minutes. Nobody's been here to help me. I I'm very sorry. I'm here now. Everyone called out of work. Yeah, excuses. You're just a stupid loser. You're probably outside talking on the phone. Look, I I'm happy to ring you up for whatever you want. I'm not buying anything from here. I just wanted to wait until you came in so I could yell at you. All right, sir. Uh, could you please just leave? Yeah, gladly. Take this. Ow! Dude, you know what? Go or I'm calling the cops. John, John, thank you so much for coming in. N none of the cashiers showed up. Yeah, don't mention it. That guy was awful. Oh, my head. How's everything going with uh, the, the dad situation? Man, it's it's getting kind of wild. I can't really talk into the details, but... Yeah, well, I kind of know exactly what you're going through. My dad bailed on me when I was a young age, too. And I know it's hard, but I'm proud that you're at least working and, and, you know, making something out of yourself. Thanks, you know? I'm just trying to stay positive. That's all I can do. And because of it, I'm going to give you a raise. You're turning into a great person, and you deserve it. Wow, thanks. I I'm just going to keep working harder and, and just doing the best that I can. Dad? What are you doing here? John! John, I, I need to talk to you! First, I think you're a criminal. Then I'm getting told from one of your weird friends that you're a secret agent. I don't know what to believe. Look, I was rescued by the agency. They came in, found my location, and it's all thanks to that case that you gave them. It's all because of you, and I just... I'm, I'm sorry, all right? I, I should never have left you. Yeah, why did you leave me, Dad? There was a good reason at the time. I, I had to do it. It was for your safety. That's ridiculous. You don't just abandon your only son. You could have just dropped me off at Grandpa's, but instead you just threw me away like I was trash. John, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Look, I'm sorry too, but I got stuff to do. I, I gotta go to work. John! John, wait up! Look, I've got a new life, okay? I'm doing better for myself, and I was able to do it without your help. But please, son, please. Look, you made your decisions, I made mine. I'm just gonna go and do my job. Man, I can't believe my dad just tried coming back into my life after what he did. He's got some nerve. John, there you are. Hey, I don't know what to do, okay? I don't know how to react about my dad. You need to hear him out, okay? He's your father still. Yeah, but he just tossed me away like I was nothing. I think it's also important to understand that he's human. People make mistakes, John. It was to protect you. Your dad's an agent. He has enemies. I'm sure people were after him. Yeah, I mean, I guess they were. Obviously, they kidnapped him. I don't know, it just still hurts. I'm so confused. This is all a lot. He could have handled it better, I agree. But sometimes, people make mistakes. In life, it's all about forgiveness. Yeah, you're right. Everyone makes mistakes. Thanks for the talk, Grandpa. I, I think I know what to do. I just, I feel so bad, Dad. I don't know. I don't know what to do. Look, I was able to talk to John, and maybe he'll turn around. Dad, hey. John, I'm so glad to see you. I'm ready to talk and listen. I'm just so glad to have you back in my life. I've been lost for a whole year and my family's already moved on? This is impossible. Who's that other guy? <laughs> <laughs> I've got to go talk to my family. Laura, Benji. Brian? What? I can't believe it. Dad, Dad, is, is that you? Who is this guy? I'm her husband. I thought your husband died a year ago in the war. I thought so too. What happened to you? I was at the base and the general sent me on a special mission. We're gonna need you to scout ahead. You got the best eyes on the team. You got it, general. I'm on it. So I went off and I found the enemy base. So I head back to camp and everyone was gone. The entire camp was completely destroyed. I was running around calling out for anybody, but that got the attention of two enemy soldiers and they held me at gunpoint and took me captive. And I worked so hard to come back here and I finally made it home. I cannot believe this. You've been alive this whole time. I've missed you so, so much, but escaping took way too long. Yeah, about a whole year. So who is this guy, Laura? Is this your new boyfriend or something? Yeah, it is. I I'm sorry, I thought you were gone. Brian, we had a funeral and everything for you. I, I had no idea you were still alive. Dad, I, I miss you so much. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to hurt any of you and put you through all of this. Can't you see how much pain and conflict you're bringing on these people? You shouldn't even be here. Wait a minute. Royce, calm down. No, I'm not going to let this guy just come back in your life and ruin it. Our new one is perfectly fine how it is. Listen, I'll leave. I didn't mean to come back and ruin your life, Laura. I'm so sorry. I just need a room for one night, please. 
All right, fine. That's 50 bucks. I don't have it on me right now. Could I maybe pay when I leave? What do you expect me to do with that information, man? You don't got the money. You don't have the room. And what's the... You really gave me an idea of a dead guy? Are you serious? Listen, it's a long, complicated story, but I'm not dead. It's a big mistake. You're not getting the room, all right? So just leave. Y you know what? I don't have time for this. I'll find somewhere else to go. Dad, no, wait. I I'll pay for his room. I have the money right here. Benji, you don't have to do that. I can handle this. No, it's fine. You obviously need some help, and you're my dad. I still love you, and I never have given up on you. Listen, Benji, I'm going to put my life back together, and I'm going to be the dad you deserve. I promise you. Hi, my name is Brian. I'm here for the job interview. Oh, yeah. Boss is around the corner. He's been waiting for you. Uh, thanks. Hi, my... Are you kidding me? Oh, man. What are you doing here now? I applied. I was coming in for the interview. You think I'm going to give you a job? There's no chance, man. Just get lost. Listen, Royce, I could really use a job to get back on my feet. Listen, I know the situation is weird and we kind of got off on the wrong foot, but that doesn't mean we can't get along. Actually, it does. My relationship with Laura was fine until you showed up. So why don't you just walk out of my office? Just like you should with my family. Laura and Benji are my family, too. Yeah, yeah. Well, you left them a year ago. And I came in to pick up your mess. So I don't want to hear it. Get lost. So yeah, Brian just came in and started screaming, threatening me, and said if I don't give him the job, he's just going to beat me up. Wait, really? That doesn't sound like him. Yeah, and then he went on to say that he plans to take his family back from me. I don't know what to do in that situation, Laura. I was just trying to work. Yeah, this is crazy. Maybe Brian isn't the man I thought he was. Yeah, I'm sorry, Laura. I just think it's best if we cut him out of our lives. You know, I love you, but... Brian is Benji's father. He's already been out of his life for a year, so Benji should just be used to not having him around. That's not how it works, Royce. Come on. Dad, you made it. Of course I did. Happy Thanksgiving, Benji. Did you make those mashed potatoes? You know they're my favorite. Of course I did. Now come on, let's go inside. It's cold out. Hey, thanks for coming. Yeah, 30 minutes late. Sorry, the potatoes took way too long to cook. Well, you're here now. Come on, everyone. Let's sit down for dinner. Laura, this dinner is absolutely incredible. Uh, 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 ow! Ow! Why did you do that for, Brian? What do you mean? I did nothing. You just spilled mashed potatoes all over me. I'm allergic. What? You're allergic to potatoes? You inconsiderate jerk. You think you could just walk into my home and do this? Guys, we're all supposed to be a family eating. Come on, this is Thanksgiving. What is wrong with you two? I can't take this. I didn't do anything. I don't know what Royce's problem is. I didn't have a problem until you showed up. Brian, I think it was a mistake to ask you to come here today. Can you go home, please? Oh, so you're going to just believe him, huh? Enjoy the rest of your holiday. Laura, Benji. Hey, thanks for inviting me here, but what's going on? Brian, I... I actually had no idea you were coming. Royce planned this whole thing. Yeah, apparently there's some big surprise about to happen. I'm so glad you all can make it. I brought you all here because I just want to tell you how much I love you, Laura. I want to ask your hand in marriage. What? Oh my gosh, um, I don't know what to say. I think you should say yes. I mean, you love me, right? Yes, yes, oh my gosh, a, a million times yes. I I'll marry you, oh my gosh. <laughs> I can't believe this happened. This is the worst day ever. <laughs> Benji? Benji, wait. I'll go check on Benji. I'll see if he's okay. Uh, just, just ignore him. All right, let's go plan our wedding. Benji, what is going on? What's wrong? I just thought since you came back that you and mom would get back together. I don't want her to marry Royce. Trust me, I don't want her to marry Royce either, but it's neither of our decisions. Your mom has to make that call on her own. No, you could do something about it. You're just letting this happen. This is your family. What are you doing? It's complicated, son. I'm just trying to do what's right. Well, what would be right is if you and mom got back together. You spent a whole year trying to get back to us. And for what? Just to see her marry someone else? Why don't you fight for her? Fight for us. Benji, I'm sorry. Things have changed and I'm done fighting. The only thing that's changed is you. I just wanted you to be the hero that I always knew you are. Hey, Brian, thanks for coming. Of course, thank you for inviting me. 
but I just have something I want to ask you. Yeah, sure. What's up? Are you really happy being with Royce, Laura? I am. And I know this is super awkward and I feel kind of bad. Don't feel bad. You thought I was gone and you had to move on. Well, thanks for understanding. But hey, I should probably go check in with my other guests. We have a lot of people here today. Go grab some snacks. Enjoy the party. I need some fresh air or something. Oh, I don't know. I just feel so conflicted. I love Laura so much, but she seems to be so happy with Royce. What's happening between you and Laura? I mean, yeah, obviously I love Laura, but her having money does help. I'm going to be so rich after marrying her. This was probably your smartest idea yet. Yeah, you know me. I have always struggled with money, so this is going to set me up big time. Doesn't she have some kind of ex-husband or something? He didn't fight for her before, so he won't fight now. <laughs> Ryan, surprised to see you. Benji is not home. He's over his friends today. I didn't come here to see Benji. I actually wanted to talk to you. Oh, all right. Well, come on in. I still love you, Laura. I feel like I even love you more now than before. Wow. Brian, look, I'm really flattered and I love you too, but I'm with Royce now. You shouldn't be with Royce. I overheard him talking to his friend at the party. He's just after you for your money, Laura. What? Brian, come on. There's no way that's true. I would never lie to you. I feel like you and I are soulmates and we're meant to be together. Just trust me on this. Brian, thanks, but I really think you should leave. Just look into Royce, okay? Can't believe she's actually going through with this. You look amazing. Are you ready? No, I'm not Royce. You're joking, right? What are you talking about? You're just into me because I have a lot of money. I'm not going to marry you. What? No, no, that's not true at all. Laura, I love you. No, you don't. You love my bank account. I googled you and you are in an insane amount of debt. No, oh, Laura, I've, I've changed. I promise. Yeah, right. I'm done. No, La Laura, wait. Just, just hear me out. Just talk to me. I hope you're happy after making the worst decision of your life. After everything, everything I did for you, you just dumped me? Yeah, because you're awful, Royce, and you need to leave. Yeah, well, good luck being around this guy. It's all his fault. You did this to yourself, Royce, and you heard her. Get out of here. Brian, I wish you would have stayed lost. You know, Brian, I really have to thank you for opening my eyes. Are you okay? I'm a little hurt. I... I was in love with him, but he was not the man I thought he was, and I'll be okay. That guy was a total jerk, and you deserve way better than him. Thanks, Brian. I appreciate that. How about you and I go and grab a coffee? That way you can talk about things and just get everything off of your mind. You know, that would be awesome. And you can pay. It can be hard in life when you have a family, but you feel so alone. That's what happened to Bart. He was born a twin to these really mean parents, and for some reason they hated him, and they only cared about their other son, John. They decided that they were going to abandon Bart when he was just a little kid. They left him at a train station, hoping that someone would find him and take care of him, but nobody ever wanted him. He was forced to go live at a boarding school, but he was kicked out because the teachers thought that he was a loser. Bart had nowhere to go and was homeless. But he knew that there was more to life than what was happening in the present. That you can become anything that you want to be, you just have to believe during the tough times. And Bart had a lot of tough times ahead. Oh my gosh, I'm so hungry. It's been forever since I've had food. Nobody's been able to give me any money and I haven't been able to earn anything. It's so stressful. Oh gosh, I hate to do this, but I think I'm going to have to eat out of the dumpster. Maybe there's something in here. Come on, please. Just like an old slice of pizza or something. Hey, you, sir. Uh, hey, how's it going? Can you do me a favor and stop being a disgusting person and get out of my trash? Look, I'm really sorry to be bothering you, okay? I I'm just trying to mind my own business here. All I want is some scraps, that's all. I'm just really hungry. What, am I supposed to feel bad for you or something? You're probably just lazy and boring. That's why you're out here. Nobody cares about you. 
please just show me some decency. I'm just trying to eat, man. You know what I don't care about? If you eat or not. That literally does not concern me at all. What does concern me is that you're trespassing on my property and you won't leave. I just thought that maybe you'd have a heart. Maybe you'd actually care about me. Well, you thought wrong, stupid. Now, if you don't get out of here right now, I'm calling the cops. This is private property. And technically, you're stealing from me even though it's the trash. But you were just throwing this stuff out. And now I'm throwing you out. Now get lost! I can't believe this. My old neighborhood. I wonder if my family still lives here. I was only little when it happened. I, I only remember bits and pieces, but I just don't get why they left me. I know that I have a twin brother somewhere, and they kept him, but they didn't keep me. I just wish that I could have a family. I wish I could have a place to live and be successful. Wait a minute. No way! Is that my dad? It really is! It's him! I remember! Dad! Dad! Who's talking to me now? What? Dad, it's me, Bart. Uh, I don't know. Uh, Jeez, uh, I, I don't know any Bart. Dad, Dad, please, it's me. I'm your son. Nah, I, I already got a son. I, it's not you, though. Wait, wh why are you pretending like you don't know me? You know me. Please, I was abandoned when I was a kid, remember? Maybe you guys were looking for me all this time. Well, look, well, you know, maybe if your parents abandoned you, they abandoned you for a reason. And now that you're a gross homeless person, maybe you deserve to be by yourself. My family still lives there. I know that was my dad. I know I haven't seen him since I was a little kid, but you don't forget your family. But he forgot about me, or at least he wanted to. I hate that nobody wants me around. Everyone thinks that I'm a loser. But you know what? I'm not a loser. I'm a person, and I have a lot to give, and I'm going to prove all of them wrong. I swear someday I'm going to be successful, and I'm going to have a family of my own. Yeah, right. You're just a loser like the rest of us. No, I'm not. You're wrong. You need to stop with your fancy dreams, okay? And just accept the fact that you have no future. I do have a future. The future can be whatever I want it to be. Yeah, maybe when you go to sleep and you dream stupid dreams all night. But this is the real world, kid. No, I'm going to be. This can't be my reality forever. You should just give up now. Just like me. No, I'm not going to do that. Maybe I'll go and try to talk to my family. Maybe things can get better for me. I can't believe it. It's my twin brother, John. Wow, I'm so excited to talk to him. Hey, John, it's me, Bart. Yeah, uh... No one cares, man. No, 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 it's me, your twin brother, remember? When we were kids, I was separated. I got lost from you guys. Oh, yeah, yeah, Bart, cool, man. Um, Turns out you're a total loser and, like, I really don't care. But, no, you're, you're my twin brother. We're supposed to have a connection. We're supposed to care about each other. Yeah, dude, but none of that matters to me. I don't even know you. Plus, you're some gross, poor, homeless person. No one ever wanted you. Don't you get that? Mom and dad chose me, and they left you at that train station. Well, I was hoping that I could change all that. I mean, we've all grown since then. I, I know that back then maybe they didn't like me or whatever, but, but now I'm a grown person. Just like you. Maybe we can start to get to know each other. Yeah, no, I don't want to do any of that, dude. My life's been pretty sweet. I get whatever I want and I don't have to hang out with you. How can you be so cruel? Do you know what my life has been like? Oh, I don't know. Maybe life is a crybaby because that's all I'm hearing from you is crying like a stupid loser. Jeez, I can't believe this. I was so excited that we might actually be a family again. 
Yeah, well, maybe you'll get excited about this, dude. I'm about to call the cops if you don't get out of here. You're gonna call the cops on your own brother? Yeah, well, it looks like you're not gonna amount to anything anyway, just like mom and dad said. So why don't you get out of here, dude? I'm calling the cops now. No, please don't. Oh my gosh, why is everybody doing this to me? I can't believe this. I don't understand how my family can hate me for being poor when they're the ones that made me this way. They literally left me when I was a child. I didn't have a say in it at all. I'm doing the best that I can. Uh, hey there. Oh my gosh, Glenn. Oh my gosh, Bart! Oh, I haven't seen you since we were little kids. I know, Glenn. This is unbelievable. You still live here? Uh, of course I live here. I still live with my parents. Oh my gosh, that's so awesome. Uh, dude, what happened to you? You just kind of disappeared. And you don't look very good. Well, life's been kind of hard for me. I don't know if you remember when I left when I was a kid, but my parents just straight up abandoned me. And now I've come back to try to talk to them, and they don't want anything to do with me. They literally pretend like I don't exist. Oh no, that's awful. Where are you living right now? Anywhere. I literally just sleep outside. I'm homeless. Oh, man. Bart, I'm really sorry, man. I mean, if I had known that you were out there, I mean, you were like my best friend growing up. I would have found you. I just assumed that you moved or something. No, I was there. Life's been really bad for me, and apparently it's been great for my twin brother. Well, look, uh, I know it's not glamorous or anything, but if you want, you could crash in my shed. I mean, my parents don't really know you that well, and they're probably not going to let you inside because, you know... You're kind of a smelly person. No offense. Yeah, no, I get it. I get it. Yeah, that would be great. Just any place I know that I'm not going to get kicked out of would be really awesome. Yeah, sure, man. And uh, hey, I don't know if you're looking for work, but I could probably get you a job, too. Uh, it's, it's nothing crazy. I'm a janitor, but we're always hiring. Yeah, that would be amazing. Thank you so much. I'm so glad that I bumped into you, Glenn. Yeah, me too. again so much glenn i can't believe that i got this job as a janitor this is awesome i can't believe that you're so humble i mean people that do this job don't want to do it i'm just so grateful to have an opportunity this is wild i mean people call out sick all the time but they're not sick because they hate this job so much and you're here and you want to do it all the time of course i do this is my way out all i have to do is work hard i finally got a job i can just keep going and things are gonna get better for me Oh, man, you're an amazing person. I think you gotta share your story with the world, man. People need to know it. I, I don't know. Yeah, come on, man. Uh, here, I I'll let me post something about it. Are you serious? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, I have a huge following on TikTok and Instagram. All right, man, so just, I don't know, start from the beginning, I guess. Well, it all started off when my parents willingly abandoned me when I was a little kid, and they kept my twin brother instead. <laughs> Yeah, who's this? Hey, my name is Tom, and I'm here to make you a star. What are you talking about? My company wants to buy the rights to your life to make it a major Hollywood movie. Wow, oh my gosh, okay, that would be great. Cool, cool, cool. All right, so tomorrow you're going to be on Chet Flenderson's show, and we'll uh, get all the deets over to you later on. Wow, I can't believe this. Glenn was right. All I had to do is share my story, and now my life is changing. People are really gravitating towards it. Hey, you loser. Oh, hey, what's up? Don't oh, what's up, me man. You just bad talked me and my family to everybody in the world. Now everyone thinks we're terrible, and you look like a hero. Well, that's kind of what happened, dude. You guys abandoned me. And then when I tried to come back and be your friend, you treated me that way? Yo, like, whatever, dude, okay? You're still a loser. Don't forget that. We're the ones that left you. Yeah, you know what? I don't forget that. I'm reminded of it every day. And the more I get to know you, the more I'm glad that you did. I think you did me a favor. Yo, whatever. Just shut up, dude. Just keep your mouth shut. No one wants to hear anything else about you. you. 
So, Bart, hey, thank you so much for coming on the show tonight. It's great to have you. Oh, yeah, thanks, Chet. It's it's really great to be here. Now, I gotta say, just from that social post where you were telling us about your family, you have had a very hard life. Yeah, I know. It's kind of embarrassing. I, I didn't mean for it to get out like that, but my friend Glenn said it was a good idea to share my story, so I did. Well, it was a great idea indeed, and you should never, ever be ashamed about your life. You're an inspiration to a lot of people, Bart. I don't think you understand that. Well, thank you, Chet. I, I really hope so. I'm glad that I can make a positive difference in people's lives. Well, it's really good that you can, and it seems like you had the right attitude all along. Yeah, well, I always kept believing in myself, and luckily I met a great friend who helped me out along the way. So, now that there's going to be a movie made about you, what are you going to do with your money? Well, I'm going to buy myself a nice house because I've been living on the streets for a long time. And then I'm going to take the rest of the money and help people that are in the same situation as me. What a great person. You heard it here, folks. Bart is out there changing lives and you could also do the same. Make sure you take a lesson from Bart's story and understand that you can do anything that you want in life. Thanks, Chet. I can't believe it. This is my house. Oh my gosh. I'm so happy that this is mine now. And it seems like life's going in the right direction finally. Wait a minute, what was that noise? Oh, what are you doing here? Oh, you think you're better than us now? You got some big fancy house, man? No, I don't think that I'm better than you at all. What are you even doing here? I asked you that already. I just wanted to see for myself what it looked like when a loser got a bunch of money. You know what? I'm not a loser. You're the one that's the loser, okay? I made something of myself. I worked hard. I went through all of these things because of you and my family. You're my twin brother, and you put me through all of this? And instead of being happy for me, you come over with this? Yeah, whatever, dude. All right, I'm just tired of you talking about all of us all the time. Yeah, well, I'm tired of having to talk to you, too. Yeah, well, guess what, man? What? I don't care what you think. You know what? I'm just going to call the cops like you did for me. Get off my property. Yeah, whatever, dude. But this isn't the end of this, all right? All right. 